So what happens when we mind meld with other people's uh, elemental essence? Let me give you one example. So I think something about someone else and I'm thinking maybe with a shortcut or maybe without even words, I'm thinking in my mind, I'll bet they would say this and such or like that. All right. So I'm casting my ideas in my mind over to the other person. And like it's not what I contact is their elemental essence, their desire elemental. And it doesn't have a cerebral cortex, it doesn't have really a mind. It has intelligence, a different kind of intelligence from, from the higher, uh, higher mental body. It, the lower mental mind, it has a kind of imitative intelligence and it, an evolutionary uh, feeling, an angle to it. Um, so it desires to go higher and it imitates other energies flocks around together if there are no people around. Um, but so here am I, sending my mental thoughts, higher mental thoughts, to the lower mental body of someone else, which contains like an echo of the soul signature of that person. It, its energy is like a, an echo of the personality of that person. So, however, it has not like a mind. So, so what I hear back is from far off, from way over in that other person's energy field. I hear what it is that I thought they would say. I hear their elemental essence saying it, but uh, it, it's using their personality's voice or soul, soul frequency. So it seems as if I've mind controlled that person's uh, desire elemental, but in fact all I'm getting is like an echo back. Uh, a kind of complacence, if you will, a willingness to go along that the desire elemental has, um, the desire elemental of the other person. And that doesn't mean that their voluntary mind is going to go along with this notion. It's just like an echo or like one of those little parrot toys that you say something, they say something back in their own voice, right? The parrot voice. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually, but not true at all. It's not true of the soul of the other person. It's more like um, uh, a subconscious dialogue.